Hello my lovelies, it's Lizzie here from Love From Lizzie and this is the video in which I'm going to show you all the add-ons to go with the October Love From Lizzie card kits which I have just unboxed. If you've come here first, may I suggest that you come, come out of this video and hop over to the unboxing, watch that one and then this will all make more sense because I'm not going to run through it all but this is what you're looking at for this month's kit if you're a subscriber. If you're not, there are a limited amount that are available on a, you know, a one-off purchase basis. Uh, once they are gone though, they are gone. I won't be able to get any more, sadly. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to run through the add-ons that go together with this kit. So, first up, we have chipboard stickers. Oh right out of shot there sorry guys <laughs> okay so um two of these large ones they're incredibly thick they're matte and they match perfectly in with all of uh, the patterns from the kit so they're ideal like this is one of the pattern papers the coffins the spiders this is on one of the vellum sheets uh, and some of these are really nice quite big so if you're a scrapbooker you've got facility but you can also just cut these down as well to make them more fitting for your card if you wanted so there are those there are 12 by 12 stickers and there's lots of nice icons then we've got some like some bunting tags they're all die cut and they're all nice they're really nice and thick they're really good quality and uh, and then you've got some nice alphabets down here and some borders so you've got a really nice good mix of different sentiments there then I have these were incredibly popular well this style when I did the August kit so um, these are 3d chipboard stickers so some of these like this one here is three layers deep it's got black glitter around happy Halloween and it's got two large rhinestones so um, these are really cute can see these selling out very quickly they did last time so there are those um, then I also have some Sizzix dies wicked boo and fright now these are actually marginally larger than this picture here these are at a 95% so 5% larger and you have these three dies so they um, will work wonderfully. We have Love From Lizzie black glossy peel-offs in the pinstripe. I mean any of them will work. The patterns peel-offs, the rope borders, there's um, black peel-offs will work wonderfully with this kit. We also have Love From Lizzie gems. This is in four different sizes. You have got the large, the medium, the small and then the itty bitty ones and there's over a hundred of those in a pack so I'm recommending those as an add-on and then this has been in the shop for some time however it's been very popular so <laughs> you may already have this one but it's a little cat's die with a cat's paw print so you may wish to combine that in with uh, your kit this month so on top of those oh sorry having to reach over this way um if you're wanting to build up your nouveau drop selection i'm recommending the ripened pumpkin the bottle green the crushed grape and the ebony black so those are the four nouveau drops um and now i have also got the sequin mix so you do get a sample bag of this in the kit so it's half the amount of what you get in here so and this is um it's a spoon's worth <laughs> it's a very official term um, but it's an it's an over it's an overfilled spoon um and i mean if you really flatten it down it's like half of the ziploc but it's bulging so it's a really nice amount and, and you'll get plenty of shakers, shaking cards out of that one. And I also, just because some people aren't all that keen on, on buying like a specific Halloween shaker mix, I'm also releasing these little guys. So here we've got the spiders and these spiders actually make up part of this mix. Of course they're now all hiding from me, naturally. Um, but 
these, this is, this is a whole bag, again it's the same measurement, it's a spoon's worth of spiders and they are actually really creepy. <laughs> um, and then here we have these little ghosts and these are actually painfully cute and these are white. So the reason that I'm selling them like this is because you may already have lots of sequin mixes and you don't want to go and buy yet another one but you want to make your ones just a little bit creepy for a few certain cards. So if you were to get either of these, then you can just put a handful of spiders in and sort of make your own mixes, if you like. Um, only an idea, but I just thought that might be appreciated. So there are those. And then now I'm on to the general release. So I'm releasing three products this month that are um, not Christmas or Halloween themed. Uh, this was by popular requests. I've had quite a lot of emails from customers saying that they wanted to see the birthday bonanza papers being released because they are so very pretty. So here I am doing as I've been told and releasing the birthday bonanza papers. So you've got foil, you've got spot gloss, and you've got glitter, that's the specialty. And then these last eight here are the double sided. And they're really pretty, they're really universal. And let's turn over the double sides. There you go. So you can see both. So, I mean, you've got a lot of pinks in here, but equally, you've got a lot of black, uh, the yellows. So you are able to do a mixture of feminine, masculine, like party, there's hearts, there's kisses. There's like nice little hand-drawn scallops, you've got geometrics. It's, it's, it's a really good um, one size fits all paper pad. So there is those. And then we have some washi tape. And these are so very pretty. So there are eight tapes in a tube, three of which have got gold foiling. And this, I mean, this is just, this is lush. I have a planner. I have a um, Me and My Big Idea planner. Currently it is used for listing. I don't have the time to decorate it, but seeing this, this washi tape makes me want to decorate again. It is so cute. It's got these little swans with these tiny little gold foil hearts and then these little, gold speckles on their wings. It's just gorgeous. And then here we have the days of the week in a list. So you could run this down the side of your planner or if you wanted to make a list completely separate of your planner. Then you have two lovely nice wide ones. And then we have Hello Beautiful with hearts. We've got some scallops. We've got, and they're all nice different widths as well. So you, it's, you can, you've got a really lovely selection here. So that's, also in the shop under washi. There are many, many more products coming to Love From Lizzie and as soon as my new website is ready, you will be in for a treat because they're all in there. <laughs> so I'm having to sort of make a selection of what it is that I'm releasing. And here we have the other set of washies. And again, there are three here that have got um, a gold foil finish. Uh, and this is more of like a nature one. And it's so, so pretty. So those tubes are in there. So if you're a planner or if you're like me and just a washi addict, I think I must have about 300 rolls of washi, <laughs> which was fine when I was doing my planner. Now it's a little bit naughty. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to move into the Christmas release. So we have got a mini pack and a mega pack. So here is the mini. Now, last time around, we did the Frosty Friends mini pack. This time, we've got Santa's coming. So this is almost, you know, it's, just, it's the same concept. We have got three sheets of heavyweight pearlescent cardstock. We've got it in green, gold, and red. We have got three full size sheets of stickers. So these are like gingerbread, uh, men, candy canes, mugs, pies, all things for leaving out the night before Santa is to turn up. 
Then we have little Santas with sacks being stuck in the chimney, the North Pole, there's a few little ho ho ho's. And then we have the reindeer set. So this is um, what you can expect. And then there will be three ribbons. Now, these are subject to change depending um, on levels, but they will all match perfectly, I assure you. Um, that is the Santa's coming mini pack. Uh, I will just pop this all off to one side so that I can run through the mega pack nice and quick. I am trying to work double time <laughs> to get this all in. So, this is the mega pack and it's not a full mega pack. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware but every other mega pack I have not been putting a stamp set in which is enabling me to list them um, a little bit more uh, reasonably, shall we say? Because with Christmas particularly, lots of people have got wonderful stamp sets. So, okay, first up the dies. There are six dies and this is like the printout. So you've got Snow Fun in a snowflake. You've got Bar Humbug. You've got Christmas Cheer, Tis the Season, Cool Yule and Good Tidings, which looks like it's half of a cracker. And these are all really good sizes. That they're not going to get lost on a card front. If you've got some really pretty patterned paper, i.e. that which is in the kits, uh, the mega pack, sorry, then all you need is in some very pretty papers <laughs> to die cut this. So this one, for example, is just shy of two and a half inches by an inch and a half. And they are roughly within that region. Some a little bit smaller, some a little bit bigger. So you get those six dies. And the idea behind this is that then you can use the specialty cardstock to cut the dies with. Now, in this one, there is in fact five sheets. Now, this one sadly didn't turn up in time, so I'm showing you my sample. And this is an embossed foil cardstock. So this is something new to love from Lizzie. And it's it's gorgeous. I could just sit here and stroke it. <laughs> um, so you will get a full A4 sheet of that. And it's, it's nice and thick. It is 300 GSM. And then you will also get a sheet of gold mirror. And that is high mirror. There you go. There's the camera and me. Uh, green, gold and red as well. So I'll lay these down as I run through the papers. Again, I'm going to do this very, very quickly, I'm afraid. Um, there are photographs in the shop, so you can have a good look. Now, can you see me? <laughs> yes, you can. Right, this is um, foiled paper. It's not quite cardstock. It would be, you'd be lying, but it's ever such a thick, heavy quality that it makes it really nice to work with. It's not too heavy on the hands to cut, but it will die cut beautifully, so... Um, you get two in each of the specialty, and you get two in the double-sided, what I've done, as always. I'm showing you the two of the specialty, and then I've turned one over of the pattern paper so that you get to see every pattern. So, two gold pinstripe. Then we have, um, these are uh, uh, musical notes with then gold foil of some lovely Christmas carols. This is a texture finish, a uh, canvas finish with some poinsettias. Then you have a nice Christmas tartan, two of those as well. And then these are the glitters. So these are like snowflake emblem design. Here you have some lovely Christmas flowers. These are really traditional, these papers, which is really nice. These berries have got some glitter on. Um, and then here you have, these are little Robin red breasts on holly. Two of those. Okay, so now we're into the double-sided pattern papers. And as I said, I've turned one over so you get to see all of the patterns. So you've got a nice stripe repeat there, Christmas trees. These are gorgeous, it's sort of very traditional Victorian angels or cherubs, really pretty. And then the musical note, which consists of the background there on the reverse. You have this pattern again, which is this glittered one, but you have it in red. And this looks like, um, not a dirty canvas because you shouldn't really ever say something like that but it's like speckled 
So unfortunately, I don't think the camera will show that, but it's, it's nice because it's not just a flat red. Here you have some nice sort of um, dark gold stars against a moss green. You have some Christmas wreaths. Again, this star pattern is the same in the background. And this is what I love about these papers is that they coordinate. So you could just fold a corner over and, um, and it will work lovely for you. Here you've got some more Christmas flowers and another border. And these look like itty bitty baubles for the Christmas tree. You've got snowflakes on that sort of burnt gold colour. Then you've got like a random snowflake and star design. You have got more gorgeous Christmas flowers and holly. This is like another textured one. This is like a moss green. And here you have some nice jingle bells. And this might be my favourite, but this has got the traditional Father Christmas with bells. And then there's some robins on the holly. So a really lovely traditional feel to this um, paper pack. And then yes, once you've die cut your sentiment, a Christmas cheer or however, tis the season, I think this will make for a really nice pack to be able to make some of your Christmas cards from. So that is the tis the season mega pack. And of course now I've just revealed one of the products to be released with the Halloween product. Now this is Purple Mirror Card. So this is new to me, uh, new to the shop as well. It's A4 in size. I have already got copper, gold, silver and black mirror within the shop. Um, and now purple is going to be joining in the same place. So, um, I released two releases ago. I managed to release a mega pack called Merry Christmas, play on pun with uh, Merry Christmas, <laughs> and they have these super cute polar bears, penguins, um, snowflakes, and uh, as part of that mega pack I put decoupage in. Now these are just chipboard toppers that go with, and they peel off ever so easily, they're nice and sturdy, um, and the majority of them have got some glitter on. There is a handful that don't have, oh no, you know what, actually, even it does, it has got an itty bitty bit. I think every piece does then. Every piece has got some glitter on, some are very heavily glittered and then others have got just like the tiniest of accents. So, but it's not glitter that is going to come off and away. It's, it's very much set on the front. So you get two sheets of those. Last releases, mega pack ho 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 i released um and it was a really it's really nice because it's like mauve and i've had so many requests again for the patterned papers so here i am trying to be a good girl and listen to what it is you want and here are the six by six papers that comprised of the mega pack so you can buy these now Buy them. Oh gosh, they're alive. You can buy these by themselves, and again, these are all the double sided papers. And there's not a good side and a bad side with these, they are unfortunately lovely on both sides, which does make it quite tricky when choosing. Um, and then you've got all of the specialties, and this is lovely because it does combine some of the really contemporary um, designs along with some really nice modern things, like I mean, the purple in Christmas but it also means that a lot of these papers will work for sort of January cards. Next up we have got some of these this little six by um, sorry four by four inch stamp set. Last year I released some of these and they went like hotcakes so this is a different design this year uh, and it's the magic of Christmas, Merry Christmas, Joy with love in a wreath and then Noel on a plaque and then there is um, this lovely star so that is available in the shop and now we're moving into the Christmas dies. Now there is a whole selection of them. And I have got, you'll be pleased to note, these to show along with. So, these are all the designs. And these are all currently available in the shop. Now this particular one, which is the Stags, is going to be very popular. I'm 
very well aware how popular this will be. You've got the stags in the trees, the stag bust, the dancing stag, the standing stag, and then the stag head. So these I recommend <laughs> if you're interested in, I would jump on because I don't think they're going to be hanging around for very long. These guys, these are so painfully cute. So we have the reindeer head, we have a polar bear in a jumper, naturally. We have a penguin in a Christmas hat, again, of course. And what I love about these dies is that obviously you can do all the inlaid die cutting with, so you can put some specialty in there, you can put some mirror, uh, and then snow happy, which with some little trees and stars on the either side, so they're really cute. Then we have the bold sentiments. So we have, is it this one? We have the 25th of December on like a ticket stub. We have Be Merry with Santa's sleigh. And what I like about this one is that you could just snip it there and make the sleigh and the two reindeer. And again, you could just die cut the two reindeer and extend this on to make that longer on your card front. You have Joy with a snowflake, which you could snip the snowflake off and then you could either use Joy by itself or you could put these two pieces of snowflake together. Uh, and then we have Merry Christmas in another plaque. So really nice detailed dies. We have got some snowflakes and stars, which are, these are all smaller on average. They're not tiny, but you'll be able to get quite a few of these onto a card front. They're all, I would say the largest, yes, is about an inch and a half. So there are lots of lovely designs. Um, of, again, both stars and snowflakes. I mean, this is so intricate. They're beautiful. Uh, and here we have Christmas trees. So we have this quite a bushy Christmas tree. Then we have a snow covered Christmas tree. So again, this is great for inlaid die cutting. So you die cut it from the green and then you die cut it from the white. And then you just paper piece in all of the pieces of snow, which I think is a really good idea. We have another shaped tree, which is sort of like the more artificial tree shape, shall we say, uh, with all the decorations. Again, perfect for inlaid die cutting. Then we have a smaller tree again, which is more this sort of traditional, um, hand drawn, you know, the triangles set upon one another. Um, and then you have a present and you have Santa's sack. So that's that one. Then we have the garlands, which are, these are, these will be fairy lights on a string. And this is a really nice length. This is four and a half inches. So you're gonna get that across the bottom of your card. I mean, you could even put it up the side if you're willing to add a bit more on the ends. Then you also have, this is uh, mistletoe. So lots of mistletoe, lots of kisses there for people. And then here you have, this is sort of like a bunting and it's got gingerbread men, Christmas tree stars. That's like a little bauble. Um, and then it repeats. So you are able to continue that on. And then there is this die, which is another garland which incidentally you could manipulate to fit over the top of this die. So that's of holly and berries. So proportional wise, it might be questionable. Um, and here, this is a really pretty wreath because you can make it hollow. As you can see in this picture here, it can be hollow, but you could also fill in those gaps if you die cut it again from something else with like a green to make it look as though the berries are wrapped around something. Okay, so now coming to my favourite of um, the dies, I think this time, and this is the build it up snow globe scene. So you get the outer snow globe, and then you have various pieces to layer into it. So at the very back, you will you die cut and put in your mountain range, of course, which is, I'm going to move this down actually, which is this one. So you'd have your, your mountain range to sit at the top. And then in the far background thereafter, you're going to have these little trees and houses. And then a little bit closer to the foreground, you have 
a church and some more houses and some larger trees and then to sit right across the front and at the top you've got some very close up trees and then you've got Santa in his sleigh so they all fit together in one and I mean you may not want to have a mountain range you you may just want to have town so you can just use two or it, it, mix and match it's up to you <laughs> but there is those ones and then last but by no means at all least we have got the ornate sentiments so we have noel tis the season on a star with a bow then we have a smaller joy and then we have christmas with another really pretty snowflake to wrap around it so there is a really good selection of dyes this month. I could have tried to put these all into mega packs, of course, but I thought I'd give you the option now, what with the majority of the Christmas papers available to buy, and the dyes are now available to buy, you can sort of put them together yourselves. So um, that is it, all apart from this, which is a little tag making kit. So there are there is felt snowflakes, and there are white, let me open it up and show you. And then there are these white, and they are sort of, they're a matte finish, but they're a nice sturdy card, and they've all got um, twine to hang on. Then there is some organza ribbon and some shiny grogain ribbon. Then you've got some paper twine in both white and a matte silver. And then you've got an exclusive Love From Lizzie sequin mix, which is a full size bag. Um, and that's in silver, white, and like a gun metal. So it's really nice just if you want to making a few tags um, to put onto presents or even on the tree these would make really pretty um, tree decorations something perhaps to do with the children as well um, but that ladies and gentlemen is the love from Lizzie October card kit add-ons and release now if you were hoping to have some more information about the competition in this video I'm really sorry um, all, all I will say here is the same as I said in the unboxing video. Um, I have drawn the winners and I am just checking to make sure against all 12 videos that they have commented on all of them because that's imperative. It's one of the terms of the competition. Um, so the competition is closed. Please don't comment on it. And what I'm going to do is as soon as I've double checked to make sure that everyone's commented on all of the videos, I will do another video over the next couple of days letting everybody know who has won i will also write write a blog post so check into the blog the links are always down below for all of that um thank you ever so much for the response to the blog hop and to all of the youtubers that have put themselves out and created such beautiful videos with the peacock die which i would also like to mention is once again available in the shop I did have, uh, I did sell out of it and it has stopped being manufactured which was really sad because it was ever so popular and um, of course can I find it now and the answer is no um, but the, there we go, <laughs> yes the actual peacock die itself went out of stock quite quickly but I was able to restock in good time so this one is available and this makes up of many different pieces so you can really layer that up to be a really pretty one but this sold out very quickly now thankfully I did actually speak to the Sizzix today and I'm over the moon to be able to report that I have got some more of these in stock again though they have stopped the manufacturing process and I think I was really lucky to be able to land a few more of these so Thank you ever so much for sticking with me. Um, I will be updating the blog and I will be making 10 cards with the Love From Lizzie October kit very soon. I may use a few of the add-ons this month. I do tend not to, so give you lots of ideas, but they're so much fun this time. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks ever so much. Do take care and until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.